Hey, 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 it's Trey. How are you guys doing? It's been a hot minute. I got no excuses. I'm trying to move some stuff here on my desk because I didn't even, I'm not even prepared. I do have my pencils. These are the pencils that I have used before in this. I was smart and started setting them aside. Oh, my chair just went sideways because we have a visitor. Where are you at, girl? Hey, you want to come up and see everybody? You want to see everybody? Do you want to? So I just want to sit in your lap, but. Little tiny willow. You can always tell by her tiny tail. Let's see her sweet little face. Hey, everybody. She's got the tiniest little mouth. Can you say meow meow? <laughs> okay. Do you want to sit in my lap? Or do you want to go explore? Sissy just came in, so she's going to go play. All right, where were we? I am way behind. There's five. We're on day ten here. <laughs> Looks like you're going to have me for a little bit today, eh? I got no excuses. None at all. Um, to be honest, uh, just life got in the way. I don't pre-record these or anything. I just um, sit down with you and color and talk. We didn't even do like our uh, chocolate advent calendar. That's how bad we were. It's just been, you know, we were just trying to get all of our Christmas shopping done because we had some that we had to go out and do. And uh, we finished that locally because, I mean, like, I'm going to tell you, like, I was going to do the majority of my shopping online. And I went to go my coffee because it's morning. I went to go buy Jeremy the socks that he likes. Absolutely, Amazon was sold out. Went to Walmart, sold out. <laughs> so I drove my happy butt down to Walmart and got it. So, so that's been kind of my ordeal. We've been trying to take really good precautions and going out, and I hope that you guys are doing the same and, and protecting yourself. I don't want anybody to think for one minute that this virus is not real and that it's not a threat, because it absolutely is. And if you don't believe me, you can ask my co-parent, Tara, because she lost her father. And I dare you to look in her eyes and tell her it isn't real. <laughs> We've been very lucky. And even our clogging studio has been lucky. And that uh, only one, there was one mom that got it. And so the girl on our uh, team, it was her mom. And so she was isolated for like three weeks. She isolated herself for three weeks, the girl. For one thing, they have a huge family. Huge. I think she has like six brothers and sisters. So they were being extra cautious, you know, in case somebody got it and passed it around and all that. Um... One of our parades has gotten canceled, which is sad, but um, understandable. We do have one more parade that we're supposed to do. And it's been, that's our local parade. And they've actually been kind of discussing canceling it. Although they really don't want to. 
they want to do something for the public because they already had to cancel like the 4th of July parade. So this was kind of like their, you know, they, their, um, they wanted to do something, you know, for Christmas. That was their big push. It's like, well, we can't do anything for 4th of July, but for Christmas we can do blah, blah, blah. And now they can't because it's still around, which I could have told them then it'd still be around. But anyways, <laughs> nobody asked me. Oh, sorry. I had to stop and rub my eyes real good there for a minute. That's been the biggest thing for me because I am a huge eye rubber. <laughs> that sounded bad, but I do. I, I, I rub my eyes constantly. Um, I think I'll make this green. So then they were thinking about doing a reverse parade, which I thought was interesting. I'm not sure exactly how that works. I guess what we, they would just have a place where people can drive through and then we perform, which would be perfect for us. I mean, for cloggers, come on, we could, mm, we could really put on some nice shows and do some nice moves that we can't do in a parade because in a parade you're moving. Do you know how hard it is to dance? and and keep up in a parade at the same time <laughs> our local parade is uh usually about the only one that i do i'm actually in pal tennessee yes i'm telling you where i live i live in pal tennessee come find me we'll craft <laughs> Oh, it'll be interesting to see if I ever get a good following, if anybody ever comes back and finds this video and finds out where I live. Because as I, if I get bigger, I probably will stop saying that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say it now. But uh, then again, I've been very, I've been pretty open about like the city I live in, like on my vlogging channel. Although I usually just say I live in Knoxville because nobody knows where Pal is. So anyways, uh, I usually do our local parade because it's a pretty easy walk. And it's pretty flat, which is pretty amazing for Tennessee in and of itself. Because, uh, yeah, nothing's flat, flat, but still. It's not very hilly or anything, which is good color should I make the pencils? Um, so I really enjoy doing that. So I really hope that we can. Or they find some way to, to do it. To celebrate. Because I think everybody just wants to celebrate. You know, that's the big thing. Um, I just don't know what to make these. I guess I could just make them green. We went to Bath and Body Works the other night. And um, we always get like the little pocket bracks. I think is what they call them. Pop pocket backs or whatever. The, and um, they really didn't have a good selection. And of course, Jeremy was like upset. He was like, oh, I can't believe they don't have any. And I'm like, Jeremy. We ought to be thankful they have anything at all here. Come on. We're in a pandemic. Let's not be stupid. I like that gray. It's a warm gray and this is a cool gray. 
let's go with the warm crate. So Joanna has been doing like a series of like how to draw stuff. Have you guys been watching that? I caught yesterday I watched like how to do a snowman, I think. It was like how to draw a snowman. But I didn't really have time to watch all of it, so I only like watched like the very first part. And then I, I got a phone call, so I had to go back to work. A lot of my absence has to do with work, just because I just had so much to do lately. It's just been a little insane. And right now I'm actually waiting for a client to send me a file. And I can't do anything until he sends me said file to look at. So... I thought, well, you know what? I am so far behind on my calendar. I was like, let me go and do that. Because I missed you guys. Have, all got, have you guys been wondering where I'm at? You guys miss me? I've been seeing the comments come in, but I haven't had a chance to like comment and say thank you on anything. I'm telling you. It's been crazy lately. And then at night, I've just been going to bed early. I'll be honest. Going out and stuff, I think um, that my immune system does not like it. <laughs> and therefore, I just, I don't feel well when we come back. It seems like the, the couple of days after we go out, I just don't feel good. Like I'm fighting something off. I think I'm going to call this done. That's cute. It's kind of cute Christmas cards. Have you guys seen Christmas cards? I do not. I do not. And I'll tell you why. I grew up with my grandmother and she sent out hundreds and hundreds of Christmas cards every year. And I had to help her with said Christmas cards every year. So this is seven. This is where we're going. Therefore, I I was like, I am never, ever sending Christmas cards. I am not getting into this trap because I saw, you know, how much money she spent and how much time she spent and just what a, you know, it, it wasn't something that she even enjoyed. She started complaining about it, you know, and I'm like, well, why are you even doing this if you're, if you're complaining about it? So the only time I ever sent Christmas cards was when I was younger and um, I was a part of a Baptist church and if <laughs> Southern Baptist and you guys, if you're Southern Baptist, you probably know what I'm going to say. <laughs> we had a thing every year called the Lottie Moon uh, post office, which was Christmas cards so that you could send them. Yeah, that you would come to the post office, and I believe it was a nickel. I believe it was a nickel a, a, a card. And then um, the Lottie Moon post office would then go and deliver those to the people in the church. So I sent everybody in the church, you know, cards then, and they sent me cards, and actually, uh, I worked in the Lottie Moon post office, so I delivered a lot of those cards, so yeah, that's what we did, hello, Amber, Amber's come to join me, hello, girl, she's sitting on the back of my chair, it's where she likes to sit, so you probably won't get to see her, but she's here with us. Took the girls Monday. Today's Wednesday. Took the girls Monday to get their final shots. So yeah, they got all their shots now. Now I need to go and get them fixed, which I probably will not do before Christmas. But I probably should because the world is probably going to shut down pretty soon. And they need to get fixed.
I just don't know where to take them because uh, the place that we take them to get their shots, they don't they don't do that. They only do well visits, what they consider well visits and minor afflictions like like uh, ear infections or something like that, not major illnesses, fleas, things like that. You know, maintenance type stuff with your pets. Which is nice. I mean, I really like that because um, it's a walk-in clinic. So it's just you, whenever you get there, it's on your time. Which is nice with cats because you never know if you can get them in the box or not. I can't tell you how many times I've had to call and cancel vet appointments because a cat went missing. And you don't know how many times when I worked at the vet we had people call and cancel because a cat went missing. <laughs> Cats are like, oh no, mm -mm. not me, boss. Like you're not putting me in that box. Mm -mm. You guys seen any good Christmas movies? You know, we watched the Christmas Chronicles, too. That was a good one. Uh, but that's really about all we've watched. We usually watch Christmas Vacation every year. And we haven't done that yet, so I need to pull, pull it out so we can watch it. That's my husband's favorite movie, and I love it too. Why is the carpet wet, Todd? <laughs> At work, we used to go around saying that all the time. <laughs> I don't know, Margo. That's cute. All right, we're catching up right away here, aren't we? Eight. Oh, that's going to be it. Ooh, yeah. oh. ah, Russian doll. Mm. How are Russian dolls associated with Christmas? Does anybody know? Is there like a tradition with that? Is it part of like a... Like Germany's Christmas? I just don't know much about Russian dolls. Except for that they're nesting dolls. And that's, mm, that's really all I know about them. Again, I'm just trying to use these same colors that I've already used before I introduce anything else. Have you guys got all your Christmas shopping done? I got all my stuff for my fave things. I think I still want to go out and get something else from like five and below. I went to Marshall's 
the other day and I was looking for like some you know like some girly kind of stuff you know like gift sets I was, I was really looking like for like some bath bomb gift sets spa gift sets something like that you know they didn't have anything I was just so surprised that they didn't have anything like that I was like what because usually I find really nice stuff. I don't know. May, is it too late? I mean, it's only the 10th. I don't know. I was disappointed. However, I was very surprised at the good stuff that I found at Walmart. Because <laughs> I hardly ever go to Walmart, guys. I don't like giving them my money. So I hardly ever go there. And um, I just found some really good hot sauces for Jeremy. I found him this really cool retro baseball game. <laughs> it's like a pinball game. Oh, I'm so excited to give it to him. So I got all the presents wrapped yesterday oh. and Jeremy's birthday presents. So everything is wrapped and ready to go and I'm so happy now because all that's done. I still need to, well, okay, let me take it back. I wrapped all of Jeremy and Kenan's stuff. I still have to wrap for the extended family. And I'd kind of planned it on doing that today, but I don't think I'm going to have time to once I get those spreadsheets from my client because um, there's just too many accounts that I have to uh, review that he's wanting me to review and I'm just not going to have the time to do all of that. So I guess I'll be wrapping those tomorrow and then I need to, tomorrow is my my favorite things party with my girlfriends, which I'm so excited about. I found the coolest bags at Dollar Tree. They, they're they huge. They're super huge bags. Way bigger than I ever needed. But I could not pass them up because there's a big snow globe on the front and it's actually puffed out. You know, it's got like the acetate on front of it and um, it's got sequins in it. So it looks like a snow globe. So I'm very excited about that. At first I was like, oh, this bag is way too big. I can't give it to them. Because I got I got them a Naked Bee gift set. And I wasn't sure what size it was going to be. Anyways, uh, but I still wanted to give them those bags. I was like, well, if anything, this will be part of my favorite things. Because I love Dollar Tree. And um, the gift sets are like this big. <laughs> <laughs> they're so tiny. I thought they were going to be like this. They're like tiny, which is fine. I love Naked Bee stuff, but it is kind of pricey. Then again, they are just a just a little shop, so or a little company out of North Carolina. It's going to be a strange looking Russian doll. <laughs> Amber, settle down. Oh are, you, oh, are you coming down? I didn't realize. I thought you were just moving. You want to get on the desk? So this is Amber. Everybody say hi to Amber. She's my big kitty. <laughs> She's got the long tail. <laughs> hey, girl. What are you doing? Where are you going? Oh, you just slapped me in the head. You just slapped me in the head. Can you show everybody your pretty face? No. Hey, Amber. Hey, girl, look up here. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, be careful. <laughs> she just slammed her head on the table. 
luckily there was a magazine there, but she missed it and went boonk. Well, you can't see my head. <laughs> she went boonk. <laughs> Maybe I should get a face cam. <laughs> so y'all can see what I'm talking about. I got a new pillow for Christmas, which I'm super excited about. And my friends are making fun of me because I went to sleep number and got a really nice pillow for Christmas. And because uh, I have neck problems. And let me tell you, I, I'm just, mm, you get so tired of not getting a good night's sleep and, and your pillow bothering you. So, um, Jeremy said he'd get me a pillow. So we went and looked at him at, at the sleep number place and I got a nice firm pillow and he got one too, but they were out of stock on his. So they had to order his. <laughs> so, but I've been sleeping with mine for the past two nights. Let me tell you that first night, it was heaven. It was heaven. And I... In fact, it was so good that I dreamed about that pillow all night. I dreamed I was talking about the pillow. I dreamed that people were asking me about the pillow. <laughs> and I'll tell you, that pillow was not cheap. That pillow was a hundred bucks. And Jeremy did not tell me. Because he's like, we're going to go in the store. You're going to pick out the pillow that you want, and you're not going to look at the price, and you're not going to ask the price. And I was like, oh, that means these are expensive. He's like, I didn't say that. He's like, I don't want you worrying about the price. He said, I want you to get the pillow that you want. He said, you, he said, if it is too pricey, I will let you know. I was like, okay. So there was this one pillow that I looked at, but I didn't like it. But um, it was kind of similar to the one that I got. But I mean, I don't want to say I didn't like it. But, you know, I was kind of like, well, this one's very similar to this one. And Jeremy's like, well, this one's $179. And I was like, okay, well, not that one. And he was kind of like, obviously. So that, that was the only time he ever told me. And then when we left, I was like, um, he sent me to the car when he paid for it. And I was like, well, how much was it? How much was it? How much was it? How much was it? <laughs> and he's like, do you really, really want to know? And I was like, yeah. He's like, all right. He's like, I'll tell you how much it was. He's like, but I don't want to hear anything about it, that it was too expensive, that you didn't deserve it or anything like that. And then he told me it was a hundred bucks and I just about died. I was like, I cannot believe you bought me a hundred dollar pillow. And he's like, you need it. You need it. He said, look, he said, we spend so much time sleeping, which is true. He's like, and your pillow isn't working and we spent money on other pillows. Let's get one that works for you. He's like, look, he said, we're 50 years old. It's time for us to, to start investing in a nice mattress and a nice pillow and and I was like, you're right. You're absolutely right. So I didn't quibble. And I have to tell you, I, I feel good. I mean, right now I kind of feel like under the weather. I feel like I'm fighting something off. But I mean, I really feel like my neck feels good. Like I, I wake up in the middle of the night and my, my neck feels good. Because, I mean, I'll tell you, that's one of the things. Is I could wake up in the middle of the night. And I, oh, my neck would just feel horrible. And then I'd have to go and like sit in my chair and sleep sitting up. So I didn't have any pressure on my neck or whatever. Okay, so we got eight done. Moving right along. I'm doing good here. All right, 30 minutes in. Uh, it's eight. So Holly is nine. 
Looks like we got some holly and some mistletoe. And what's this? I mean, <laughs> so tonight we're going to watch The Masked Singer. I guess it's the finale. And I just don't have any good clues this year. But I will tell you something funny because I don't think I've talked to you guys since then. Last week on The Masked Singer, they announced that they were coming out with a new show. <laughs> <gasps> and it's The Masked Dancer. Which, I mean, hey, I don't blame them. <laughs> Go for the cash grab. But I was completely confused. <laughs> Because I was like, how would that work? I was so confused because what I was thinking was not the masked dancer, but the blindfolded dancer. <laughs> oh, Lord. I swear. Probably only a dancer would come up with something stupid like that. <laughs> a blindfolded dancer. <laughs> I was like, I was looking at my husband, I was like, I don't see how, and then I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I started laughing, and he's like, what? And then I told him, he's like, you're so stupid. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. He's like, I was like, that's just what came to my mind. I just immediately thought, you know, I didn't think mask, thought blindfold. Dummy. I tell you, I'm smart, but to be so dang smart, I say the dumbest things. I guess we all do. So I guess I'll give that show a try, especially being a dancer. But I usually don't like the dance shows. It's not funny being a dancer that I don't like the dance shows. But they do a lot of like modern dance. I'm not a modern dancer, you know. I don't get into all those rolling around on the floor and stuff like that. I just... That's just not my style of dance. It's not what I enjoy. So. I'm like, I want to see skill. That's what I want to see. I want to see dance skill. To me, anybody can roll around on the floor. And I just get tired of it. It's like, oh, look at you rolling around on the floor. Oh, look at you spreading your legs wide open, you know. Now I can handle some ballet and jumps and things like that because that's skillful. But just when you just, I don't know. Y'all know what I mean. Y'all have seen modern dance and all that. I tell you what, that clogging competition one time, <laughs> this was last year, there was this team that came, and we have a a category, uh, it's called different things in different associations, but it's like an exhibition, which basically means you can pretty much do whatever you want along with the clogging. So, you know, a lot of people will do some fusion stuff, you know, I've seen some people try to do some of that um, to do a lot of hip hop, hip hop and, um, clogging can go together really well. Ballet, clogging, not so much, you know, so, I mean, there's some dances that you can fuse, some that you can't. And so, you know, a lot in this category, you see a lot of, um, hip hop type stuff and, you know, different moves and stuff that are not considered clogging and therefore banned things like that you know <laughs> well there was this one team that got on there and they had on like grass skirts and then they started rolling around on the floor <laughs> and like opening up their legs to the um judges and the audience and stuff like that and the first time they did it you heard an audible gasp <gasps> <laughs> I 
Because you're talking clogging. Like, super conservative people here, you know? Like, some of the associations, we, we get in trouble if we don't wear, like, dresses. Because they expect women to wear dresses, you know? So, if our costume actually has pants, you know, a lot of times the judge is like, we really would appreciate, you know, or we would have thought it was better if you wore more traditional clothes or something like that, you know? So, yeah, let's just say that that dance was not well received and they probably got a little talking to at the end of the day of, yeah, we don't do that here. Yeah, just because you can do whatever you want to in this category doesn't mean you should. <laughs> we still, every once in a while, when we're coming up with a new dance, <laughs> we're like, what should we do? You know, because there's all these different categories. You can do like acapella, which is like no music, and it's all about the rhythm of it. And... Then you've got like all these different styles. Contemporary, which does kind of include more of those hip hop type styles, but there's certain types of of dance steps that you have to do, and uh, that's more of a Canadian style dance. So we, you know, we talk about all that stuff <laughs> and and somebody will always bring up, I know we can get some grass skirts. <laughs> We can roll around the floor. <laughs> Somebody somewhere always suggests that. Yeah, we can just get some grass skirts, roll around on the floor. Sounds great. Oh, I'm getting upset because I'm listening for my email <laughs> to come through and uh, nothing, still nothing. I'm so mad. It's like, send me the spreadsheet so I can get this work done. So much I have to do today. And I cannot do it until he sends it. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to finish this before I do it anyways because I want to spend some time with you. And I don't know what this is. This is just some random leaf, I guess. We'll do it like a light green, I guess. Johanna, what is this? <laughs> what is this? So I'm sorry, you guys, that I didn't have a video every day like I intended. You know, I don't do videos beforehand. Um, I did actually do one of my crafts from my craft kit. I need to upload it, though. So, that is number nine. Which brings us to our final little thing today. How sad. Oh, I just burped. I'm sorry. <laughs> How sad. I want to barely... I just... Mm. Dang it, I thought I popped it. Dang it, I popped the lid. Mm. I think I can still use it. It's just so tiny. Cute. 
Have you guys built any gingerbread houses? We have not. Not with the cats. This year we haven't done much with the cats. We're letting them kind of uh, settle in. They were very interested yesterday when I put their presents underneath the tree. They were like, hello, what's this? But they didn't really bother them. They went over and smelled them all. But honestly, they just kind of just left them where they were. I was going to get on to them, but then I noticed that she didn't really do anything, so didn't really warrant yelling at her. Um, at either one of them, I guess I should say, because they were both over there. Amber was the main culprit, wanting to smell everything. But she likes to do that. It's so funny to my cats are such different personalities. <laughs> and last night Jeremy was playing with them with the laser pointer and he actually set up in a different position than he usually does so he could like get down the hall. And he put the light up on like the wall just to see what the girls would do because he had never done that before. So Amber immediately just stops and looks. Willow just throws herself full force against <laughs> against the wall. And I'm like, that is so totally them to a T. Amber is very much like, whoa, this is new. Let me sit back and evaluate the situation. And Amber is very much like, what? <laughs> Willow is very much like Lot. She is just... Mm. Bello is a firecracker. So let me tell you when I took them to the vet. So Amber got was first. And they held her by the scruff <laughs> to give her her shot. And she immediately just turned around on them, which kind of freaked them out. And uh, they took her like three times to stick her. Because she would like shift her hips and stuff like that. And, um, so then they got Willow out because I mean, they had a hard time with Amber getting her to sit still for the shot and all that and her turning around on them and freaking them out. And <laughs> I mean, it was funny. It was funny. I was laughing. So then they get Willow out. This little tiny kitten, you know. She's such a tiny thing. And first, they go to give her her oral, oral medication. And she's got that little tiny mouth anyways. And she immediately jerked her head away and it went everywhere. Then they get tried to give it to her again. And she put her paws up to her mouth like this and, went, and pushed the... Sh <laughs> and knocked the thing out of the girl's hand. So then she got it and they pretty much like laid on top of her and she still managed to get it like all over her face and they had to like wipe her off. <laughs> and I'm sitting outside cracking up at, at them, you know. <laughs> so then they go and give to give Willow her shot. And they grab her by the scruff. And they go to shoot her. And the first thing that she does is turn her head and slip her, her hips out. Yeah, scruff don't work on her either. Um, so then they try it again. The girl gets a better hold of her scruff, which I crack up because it's not going to happen. You know, she doesn't care. She doesn't trust you. She's not going to be still. That, that, uh, it's just not. So, uh they go to shoot her again and this time she shifts her hips and she kicks back her back leg and knocks that shot right out of that lady's hand and so then the tech came out and she is sweating I mean she's pouring sweat and she says we're gonna go get the doctor 
<laughs> so the doctor had to come in and give Willow her shot, and even the doctor had a problem with her because Willow would not sit still. Both techs were holding her. And uh, they basically had to like lay on top of her to get her to be still, and she still was squirming. So, yeah, my sweet little Willow. Such a pain. <laughs> I do worry. I do worry about taking her to get her fixed. I do. And a lot of that stems from. Um, I had a cat, Zephyr, and I took her to get her fixed, and she did, she only liked us. She didn't like any other humans. She was feral, and um, so when we got her back, she was in bad shape, really, really bad shape, and I felt really bad. And uh, I really had to nurse her back. I almost lost her. And I really know in my heart of hearts, it's just because she would not let anybody near her. So they could not take care of her. Um, and I know that Willow would not be that way. But it still just kind of scares me, you know. It just does. Because I'm really bonded with my willow. Oh good, I just got an email. I'm really bonded with my willow. And it would break my heart if I lost her. You know, it was really hard to even get another cat after Rocky. So, and I'm so bonded to her now, it's scary. I'm not worried so much about Amber since she's a full-size cat. She's very, very healthy and all that. You know, I think that that's mainly the difference. Um, I got a question. If this is a gingerbread house, how are we getting smoke out of the chimney? <laughs> oh, Lord. Johanna, <laughs> we have question. <laughs> I think that's good. Give us some light. We're gonna have a. We're gonna have a smoke come out. We'll give us some light. Give us a little depth on the snow here. All right, guys. Some more little depth on the house here. Smooth it out a little bit. Say we're done. Hopefully I'll be back tomorrow. I need to upload that video of me doing the first Christmas craft. And I need to get on that for the 12 days of Christmas. Otherwise Christmas will be over because you know how I am, obviously. <laughs> It's just hard, you know, life gets in the way. I'm not a full-time YouTuber, and I work full-time, so there you go. Not really interested in being a full-time YouTuber. Because then it'd just become a job, and then I wouldn't love it as much, I'm afraid. I'd be like, ugh, I'm going to upload. Instead of, oh, I need to upload a video. All right, I think that's good. Yay, got oh, I, my boob squished it. Yay, so we've only got two more on this page, 11 and 12, and then we'll get to go to the second page. Thanks for hanging out to, with me. I'll try to make it back tomorrow so we can do more, and until next time, uh, bye, guys.